So method 10, the cheat day track. And it isn't really a method as such, but it's like an add-on for certain types of events, whether you're going out for a party, whether it's your child's party. And what you do is, when you have these pre-planned social events, you probably know about them already. You have a period of time. So what that allows you to do is make adjustments to your current nutrition, whether it's on the day, the day before, or the day after. We shouldn't be looking at nutrition in a by meal basis or a by day basis. We should be probably looking at a, in a weekly uh, time frame. But the best thing is probably daily, so you can know exactly what you're doing. And we know over time during that week whether you're going to be in an overall caloric surplus or an overall caloric deficit. So what the cheat day allows the client to do is it allows them to enjoy social events and the client has to guesstimate what they will have beforehand. So if they know they're going out on a night out and they want a few uh, alcoholic drinks, well, as we know, one gram of alcohol has seven calories in. So they can go online and they can see what alcoholic beverages have how many calories in. And if they like a beer and it's 200 calories per pint, then you could say, enjoy yourself, have four pints of beer. However, it's 800 calories. And if you're not really getting ready for a show, then it could just be, enjoy yourself. Or it could be, what we're gonna do then, is we're gonna make sure you hit your protein target, we're gonna lower your carbs, and we're gonna lower your fat. Or it may be, if you're not tracking the macros, is skip breakfast that day. Or if you have five pints or six pints, the next day, you're probably not gonna be up early, early, which means there's less hours in the day for you to eat food. So maybe skip breakfast. So there is some adjustment and tweaking based on what they know they're gonna be doing beforehand. And it isn't the end of the world if they overeat or they overdrink on that night out. You just need to explain to them that this has happened, this is life, or if we really wanna achieve this goal, we can't have this too frequently, but infrequently is absolutely fine. We carry on, the next day is a new day, and it's only one day out of the year. So some of the pros, it enables the client to probably not overeat on that day. Uh, it makes the person feel less guilty. I know people do feel guilty. They feel like, oh my God, I've over ate, I've over drunk, and now everything, all of the work I've been doing for 10 months is gone. We know that's not the case. You can't put on a stupid amount of weight overnight, but you also can't lose a stupid amount of weight in one night either. So it's a very useful tool to incorporate with whatever nutrition approach they're predominantly using at that moment. However, some of the cons are, it requires the client to have good nutritional understanding to make some good decisions based on, okay, I might just have a, a large protein shake because rather than a meal, because I'm gonna lower my carb and my fat intake. However, whenever there's alcohol involved at a specific event, the success is probably more focused on whether they have food post-alcohol consumption. Mm -hmm.